Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Fred Sutton and today I'll be discussing the statement of cash flows on this video using the direct method. Uh, as you can see behind me here again, I'll go over each of the different activities. If you saw my previous video of the indirect method, it should be very similar, uh, familiar to you. The operating activities primarily focuses on the operations of the company. So these are the where we'll focus on the cash that is a part of the operations. Investing primarily focuses on the long-term assets, the acquisition or the sale of long-term assets that we may have, so non-current assets. And then finally, in our financing activities, is that here we focus on the long-term liabilities and then our stockholders' equity. And that could be from issuance of bonds or the retirement of bonds or the payment of dividends and those type of things. We first start off with the operate, uh, operating activities here. Now remember we're using the direct method, so if you watched the previous video of uh, statement of cash flows with the indirect method, it is different in different a lot of ways. So the direct method here is a little simpler. I'll walk you through this here. So first thing we do is we, uh, we put down, figure out what we have cash received from customers. All right, and so what we have is we have a value for that. And then we're gonna take away certain payments that we've made, and that those payments for maybe for merchandise, so cash payments for merchandise. Also, we may also have some other cash payments that we have made with like operating expenses. Or cash payments for interest. And then maybe cash payments for Taxes. And then we figure out what our net is. So our net cash flow from operating activities. Now sometimes it's a little harder to figure out what they we got for the, uh, the cash received from customers. It may not be our total sales. Remember the change in accounts receivable may have something to do with that. So if I had an increase in accounts receivable, therefore I have a little less of my sales I may have. So if I had 600,000, put it up here, and I had an increase of 5,000 in accounts receivable, that will take me to $595,000 that I received in cash for that. So that's what we would put in here. And then figure out what we may have for the rest of it. So that is the basics for all of the operating activity. It makes it a little easier than if you watch the video from the indirect method. Now let's take a look here at the investing. Very similar to what you saw in the indirect method. And I'm basically going to go over the same exact things. So cash received from sale. And then cash payments from purchases. And this primarily focuses on here our long or term or non current assets. And so here we'll just add in that and subtract that. Now, here in the financing is similar to that. So cash received. And that could be from issuance of a bond um, or something like that, or cash payment, which could be for the purchase uh, or the repayment of a bond, so that way we are retiring in that bond, or this could be from dividends. So that I'll put that down here. Oops. And 
and this could be from the sale of stock. And this primarily focuses on long-term debt and stockholder equity. As you can see, this is a lot simpler than the indirect method, and hopefully you've gathered and gained an understanding of what this means. Uh, really the focus of doing all of this is to figure out what has happened and transpired with the, com with the company here. I mentioned in the previous video with the uh, indirect method that we want to figure out if I'm an investor looking at it, where is the cash coming from and where is it going? That's what we want to know as an investor because if I'm a company that's losing money here, we, have, we're, we don't have a lot of money coming in, but we had a lot of money that over the year came in. So maybe we had $550,000 of an increase in our cash, but we lost 100000 here. That's not a good thing because that means we probably had to make it up in this area. And maybe we sold a bunch of stock and made $150,000, and that's how we came up with the $50,000 increase. It was $150,000 in positive financing and 100,000 losses. That is not a positive thing. And so I would be concerned about that company and see where they're going uh, for the future because if their operations is providing a negative cash flow, that does not bode well for the company in the long term. This is the direct methods uh, statement of cash flows. I'm Dr. Fred Sutton. Thank you and take care.